Hello, and welcome to the Art of Living Well podcast. I'm Stephanie May Potter, and I'm here with my co-host, Marnie Dotches marmette We created the Art of Living Well podcast to empower you to live your happiest, healthiest, and most authentic life. Each week, we will bring you inspiring and motivating conversations covering health and wellness topics, including fitness, mindset, food, travel, product reviews, and strategies from a variety of experts, including our own bank of knowledge. We are excited to educate, motivate, and inspire you to change the way you perceive health and discover your art of living well. Get ready to feel inspired. Happy September. I can't believe it's already September, Marnie, but that means fall's right around the corner, and that's time for our next quarterly seven-day community liberty talks. I'm so ready for it. I, it's back to school time and the weather starting to change. Sadly, the weather starting to change. And um, I'm really just ready to like get back into my healthy eating habits. I feel like this summer, you know, I've kind of been traversing and swinging between old habits and new habits, and I'm just ready to get on track. Absolutely. And I think that's what we want to talk about. And, you know, yes, Marty and I, you know, are passionate about eating healthy, but that doesn't mean that we don't get off track either. And, you know, sometimes those unhealthy eating habits that we um, sometimes go back to are hard to break. And that's why happy September falls just around the corner, and that means it's time for our quarterly seven-day community liver detox. So we'd love to have you join our supportive community to take your health to the next level. I know these past few months have been so emotional. There's been so much uncertainty in the state of the world. There, all the, Just all the additional stress that resulted in, has resulted in so many of us, including Marty and myself, um, getting off track with our healthy habits. And really sometimes we're, you know, it's very easy to go back to the old ways of eating and some of the emotional attachment that food plays. And as much as we've loved like cooking so many wonderful meals at home and having time to bake and make comfort foods and summer cocktails, we both feel like we need this reset and we really hope that you'll join us on this um, experience because it really has amazing benefits. And I think being part of the community is not only beneficial for all of our participants, but it really helps Marnie and I too. We thrive off of the support and energy of this group. So we'd love for you to join us. You can head on over to our website to sign up or get more information. And that's www theartoflivingwell.us slash program. And the detox starts September 21st at seven days, ends September 27th. And we would truly love to have you join us. And if you're wondering how you can possibly make it seven whole days without sugar or alcohol, drop us a note, message us with questions, but we will be there to support you every step of the way. And we have to do it too. So we're all in it together. (laughs) Hi, welcome to the Art of Living Well bonus episode. Today, Stephanie and I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about immunity. It's getting colder outside. We're having a lot of people ask us, you know, what we do to stay healthy. You know, there's COVID still, we're coming upon flu season. And so we thought we'd just jump on and talk a little bit about what we like to do, what we recommend other people to do. Um, so should we dive right into supplements, Stephanie? Sure. You know, I think that's a hot topic. People ask us about supplements and we don't want to overwhelm you guys. Um, there's a lot of different supplements you can take, but when it comes to boosting your immune system, we believe, and we, you know, on a regular basis are taking vitamin D, vitamin C, um, we take zinc. And then we also use the daily nutritional support powder, which is a complete multivitamin that we use in our smoothies every day. And these are also things that we have our kids take as well. Uh, Yep. And I've even, I know I've mentioned this before, but I sent my son off to college with all of these products. I keep asking him, are you taking your vitamin D? Are you taking your vitamin C? Because these kids are, especially in college right now, are 
exposed to so much, but even your kids at home, well, even if they're doing school at home right now, um, I'm assuming they're still getting outside, maybe seeing other kids at a distance. It's, it's good to just keep that immune system boosted because if you do catch something, hopefully it's going to be um, less severe. Exactly. And I think these are all supplements that you can take preventatively and certainly at the first onset of any symptom where you have a scratchy throat or a sore throat or you're feeling a little achy, I load up and I take like almost higher doses, dosages of some of these or making sure I'm really taking them consistently on a daily basis. And a lot of them can be put into a smoothie, which is easy with kids, um, especially like the vitamin C powder and the vitamin D is liquid and it's, there's no taste to it. So I know some people are concerned about, especially with younger kids, getting them to take supplements or swallow pills. And a lot of these can be consumed in a liquid form, which I think just makes it very convenient. And beyond supplements, there are actually quite a few other things you can do that we're just going to quickly touch on to keep your immune system in tip top shape. But sleep is so important. And I know we've talked about sleep a lot over this past year, but getting enough sleep really helps you stay healthy. And when you stay up all night or you're getting, you know, four to six hours of sleep a night, that really does knock that immune system down. And I know it's hard for a lot of people to kind of make sleep a priority, but it's so important. It's so important. And it's, think about this. Your, the bo your body's only time that it can rest and repair is at night when you're not running around doing a million things and your stress level um, isn't you know, elevated because of work and other life stressors. So really making sure you're getting at least seven to nine hours and kids need more than that. So I'm constantly on my teenage son when I'm going to bed at night and making sure that he is as well or soon thereafter because they need, they, we all need sleep, um, but especially the kids in the team. So prioritizing sleep, getting to bed early and getting um, a good night's sleep. And you should feel, how do you know if you've had enough sleep? You should feel rested in the morning. You should be ready to get out of bed and you shouldn't be dragging. And even, um, you know, dimming the lights or even lighting candles as the sun sets will get your body more into that rhythm of getting ready for sleep. Um, don't sit in front of the computer, watch TV. If at all possible, try and turn off the electronics as you're winding down and just try and calm your body down so it's getting ready for sleep time. Exactly. Um, and I think the next big ticket item we'd like to talk about is just your diet. So 70% of your immune system resides in your gut and that your microbiome and your gut feeds off of the food that you eat. And so when you're eating a diet that's high in sugar and processed foods, that just increases the bad bacteria in your gut, and then your body's not able to fight off the, the foreign um, viruses and other things that you come into contact with. So eating a, a rainbow every day, you know, I like to use that word, especially with kids, but I think it's relevant for adults as well, and making sure you're eating, what I would say, nine maybe plus servings of fruits and vegetables a day, you know, eating a wide variety, eating lots of colors, so you're getting a variety of vitamins and minerals and antioxidants. And just trying to cut down on the processed food and yes. sugars. And I know that's hard, but the more you can do it, the better off, like Stephanie mentioned, your gut, your overall gut health will be, and your immunity will be strong. Your immune system will be stronger. Exactly. And we could, we could talk about that for a long time. So we're just doing a quick touch on that and moving on, moving moving on. on to movement, actually. <laughs> which is another great thing for your body, um, whether it's getting outside or working out at home. Um, some of you may be going back to the gym. Um, I'm not going back to the gym. I don't think Stephanie is right now, but just getting your body moving and um, breaking a sweat, you know, building strength, building muscle, doing whatever feels good to you so that you can kind of clear your mind, maybe release some stress and tension. 
is great. Yes. And I think right now, so in Minnesota, we had a significant drop in temperature between Sunday and Monday. And then, you know, today it's cold. And so we just need to like embrace it for right now and go get your fall jacket or your winter coat, put on gloves if you need to get outside because being outside is, is so important. And I know it's tough to that initial shock when you go from 80 degrees to 50, but it's and really it is a shock. It, it's is an, a shock. it is a shock. <laughs> and I, it makes me sad. I'm trying to embrace it as much as possible. And I think buying a new jacket maybe will help me because it, I have committed to being outside regularly through the winter. Yes. But, you know, I, I miss those 80 degree days already. I know. I know. Well, I think it'll bounce back a little bit, but ultimately it will get cold. So, you know what? Get a group of your neighbors and friends and set up a little challenge or get a text going where you're encouraging and motivating each other to get outside because I think we all need a little bit of a push and some mm -hmm. accountability, especially when the weather um, turns colder, but you'll feel so much better. Um, I'm going to get outside right after we record, record this, Marnie. And even today, it's a gray day here, but the sunshine on your face is so good. I mean, besides the fact that you get a little bit of vitamin D that way. It's just really, really good for you to have a little bit of sunshine. And um, I know a lot of people say sunscreen, 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 but I'm saying sunshine just for a few minutes a day. Yes. Um, and right now we don't have a ton of sun, so we're not as worried about the sunscreen, I guess. And you know, the last thing we want to mention is just being mindful of your stress level and doing whatever you need to to incorporate some self-care and mindfulness activities, whether it be getting outside and going on a walk, taking deep breaths, doing um, some form of meditation or yoga, but just to reduce that stress because again, um, it's really gonna help boost your immunity. And when your body is under a significant amount of stress and is in that fight or flight mode all the time, it can't fight off the, you know, diseases and foreign substances and viruses as easily as it could on a, on a good day. So um, and we have lots of podcast episodes that we've shared with a lot of different um, experts in this area. So maybe you can tune into one of those and where we talk more about mindfulness and meditation. And, and the last thing we really want to mention is that we are going to be starting our liver detox on September 21st. And that really does detox the whole system, almost like you're resetting, starting from scratch. And I think it's a really good way to boost your immune system as well. And Absolutely. You have to join us if you're interested. We'd love it. And we actually have a great group of people that have already signed up. And the other thing about the detox, in addition to obviously being immune supporting is it, it's a good reset. I think for myself and I know Marnie, you know, we've talked a lot that we've, we've all gotten a little bit off track. One, it's summer. And then two, we are in the midst of this pandemic. So the other great thing about the, re, about the detox is it's just a good reset. And you'll start focusing, you're going to be eating very clean, a very clean diet for that week, which is in and of itself going to boost your immunity. And the, the shakes that you, um, that you'll drink have a ton of vitamins and minerals in them already and you'll be focused on sleep because you won't be probably up late you know staying up night at night and and snacking and those sorts of things so it's just a great way leading into this fall and upcoming winter season so we have all the links on will be in the show notes and on our website you can go to www theartoflivingwell.us slash programs. And of course, message us and reach out if you have any questions. Yeah, we'd love to hear from you. We'd absolutely love to hear from you. You can DM us, you can email us questions, comments. Um, and we'll and also link up the supplements that we mentioned. We'll link those up in the show notes as well. So if you're driving or out and about, um, you can go back and get all the information that we shared today. And we wish you all a very healthy fall. Yeah. season. <laughs>
We'd love for you to subscribe to our podcast, leave us a review, and tag the Art of Living Well podcast on social media. If you want more inspiration in between episodes, you can find us on social media at the Art of Living underscore well on Instagram and Facebook, where we will share snippets from our daily lives and our journey to living well. Thank you.